I wish these labels hadn't fallen off my jars. At least I can use the microscope to take a look at the crystals. Those crystals are very irregular. I think that's my sugar. These crystals are really cubic. That's definitely my salt. You know, it would be nice to see how crystals form. I know, I have an experiment in the lab where I can make borax crystals. To the lab! I'm in STEM lab at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, and today on Real Science, we are going to make borax crystals. Yay! But first, let's talk about crystal formation. Crystals are formed when a mineral is dissolved in water. When the water evaporates or cools, it forces the mineral to come out of solution. That makes a crystal usually a cube shape. If you're following along at home or in the classroom, here are the supplies you're going to need. Borax, a pipe cleaner, a heat-proof jar, hot water, and a pencil. Now that we have all of our supplies, let's get started making some crystals. The first thing you will need to do is have a grown-up help you pour hot water into a heat-proof jar. Next, you will add three tablespoons of borax for every cup of water. I have two cups of water in my jar, so that means I'm going to need a total of six tablespoons of borax. It's a lot of borax, but we need quite a bit to make sure that we have a saturated solution. Once you get your borax into the jar, take a spoon and make sure you stir it really well. The goal is to get as much of the borax to dissolve into the water as you can. If possible, let it sit for a minute or two to make sure that it settles out. Next, you're going to take a pipe cleaner and make any shape that you want. I'm gonna go with a circle today. So make a shape and leave a tail because we're going to wrap the tail around a pencil and then we're gonna put the whole thing into the jar. Now all you have to do is let it sit for at least 12 hours, preferably 24. Take a look and you'll see if you have a crystal. After 12 to 24 hours, you'll have something that looks like this. They are super sparkly and I love putting them in the window to catch the sunlight. Enjoy making your crystals and we'll see you next time on Real Science. Thank you so much for watching. If you tried this experiment, take a few photos and share them with us using this hashtag. We'd love to see what you came up with. <laughs>